One caste, one religion, one God for all the people of the world. One form in the same blood and I cannot find any differences. All are of one self fraternity such being the dictum to avow. In such a light how can we take life and devoid of least pity go on to eat? Whatever may be their differences in men's creed, dress, languages etc. Because they all belong to the same kind of creation. There is no harm at all in their dining together or having marital relation with one another. Men may differ in their faiths, their languages, and their modes of dressing. But there can be no evil in interdinning and intermarriage because all belong to the same kind of creation. Education is a means for anyone who desires progress in this world. Therefore, it has to be given to all. Like men, women also should be educated. Acts that one performs for one's own sake should also aim for the good of other men. Perfectly fulfilled and famous are those in whose minds the Supreme Lord God abides. Their reputation is spotless and pure they are famous all over the world. That virtuous person who does not walk in the way of greed, and who abides in truth, is accepted and famous. Those who focus their consciousness on the true Guru are perfectly fulfilled and famous. All living beings form one brotherhood this ought to be the law of life. This being so, how can we sacrifice animals? How can we eat animals without mercy? Liquor is as evil as poison, it should not be manufactured at all. One should neither offer it to others nor drink it. The disciple should prostrate himself before the Guru who is the embodiment of pure wisdom. For this, the disciple should bring his five senses fully under control. The Guru's inner light of wisdom is also displayed externally. Whichever the religion it suffices if it makes a better man. Love of others is my happiness, love that is mine is happiness for others. And so, truly, deeds that benefit a man must be a cause for others happiness too. The wealth of a country cannot increase if the people do not engage themselves in the industry. Our children should be trained in industrial schools. Do not ask, do not say, do not think about caste. Men should be good, clean indeed, word and thought. It is better to lose on the side of righteousness than to win on the side of unrighteousness. Arguing should not be for the sake of argument, but for the sake of doubt and enlightenment. Just as darkness disappears when the sun rises, darkness also disappears when knowledge is given. We are not the body. We are the knowledge, we were the knowledge even before the body was made. And even if we are without all this, we will remain shining like this. No matter how much light burns outside, what good is darkness inside? Caste differences should disappear, and the West Easterners should also unite, then mankind will become one. God is two or many it does not fly in any religion. Caste and religion as in being alone God is the same. We are someone incarnate if you think so the goal of incarnation elimination of caste discrimination. A disease is a medicine it will not change by itself. If that were the case so many medicines for the disease itself there is no need to judge. It is not righteous to live as slothful. An ungodly life should be given unsalted rice. If you get used to it, nothing is difficult, you can walk on fire. We are only the image of God, the body is just flesh. Unnecessary expenditure of money should not be allowed for any auspicious work. 
Everyone worships God and not idols. That which pleases his soul shall come for the pleasure of others. Wisdom doesn't come by itself, you have to read a lot. This world is built on truth so don't lie, tell only the truth. Religion is only a means to realize God, religion is not God.